My name is Stefan Jonsson and this is my StarCraft 2 mod, The Contamination. This video will go through the different mission modes. First off is the sample collection, which is very simple. Kill enough zombies before they overrun you. The amount of zombies to be killed is depending on the amount of players in the game. The first two missions of the game is sample collection to keep the learning curve low. When the players have reached the minimum amount of zombies to kill, the players can end the mission with a nuclear strike. After the first two missions, the game changes into evacuation mode. In this mission mode, the players must build safe houses which the civilians will enter. When a safe house is full or commanded to, it will call down an evacuation ship that will evacuate the civilians to safety. In this mode the players will find the cure tower very handy. These towers lift up zombies in the air to turn them back to civilians after 30 seconds and move them to the tower, over the barricades. When the players have reached the minimum amount of civilians to evacuate, the players can end the mission with a nuclear strike. After two evacuation missions, bunker evacuation is next. This mode is much the same but instead the players will evacuate civilians to a bunker, which they have to defend until the minimum amount of zombies to evacuate have been reached. Then the players can end the mission with a nuclear strike. On mission 6, a completely new mode is introduced. In this mode, the players does not need to evacuate any civilians. Instead, they have to defend at least one of two structures that will spawn separately at random locations. These buildings are called Psi Disruptors, which will charge a Psi Disruptive Blast after 8 minutes, thus killing off all zombies in the city. In short, the players must live for 8 minutes. On mission 10, a boss mission takes place. Currently it's an experimental mission, which I might remove later on if I get complaints, but so far it's here to stay. Two giant roller links will spawn for each player. These huge monsters will simply roll over all the player buildings, making the players feel very scared at first. However, the roller links will start out with very low movement speed and tons of HP. When they roll over a building, they will lose HP and increase their move speed exponentially with their HP loss. So in order to beat the mission, the players will be hightailing around with the rollerlings, making them roll over buildings and barriers built on the run. When you have defeated the boss, you will enter arcade mode, which simply is sample collection all over, except that the zombies will become stronger for each mission the players survive. If you are curious about other stuff I have made, or want to know more about the contamination, check out my portfolio on my website. Thanks for watching.